So you are looking for the best budget computer for under $1,000. Well, today guys, we're going to be reviewing the 2012 Mac Mini and we're gonna be showing you whether it's worth buying in 2017. So before we do get into this video, it'd be great if we could reach 10 likes in this video. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to turn on notifications and also subscribe. That would be awesome and really help us out. Don't you just love it when your camera runs out of charge halfway through filming? Okay, so I really did quickly, before we get into this video, want to mention a specific YouTuber. He goes by the name of Tech Torpal on YouTube. Now his link to his channel will be down below and also his link to his Twitter. Now he does tech reviews much like us, but the reason we're shouting him out is because his quality is incredible for his channel size. So guys, if you are interested in seeing a channel that is pretty new, that does tech reviews on lots of cool products with high quality, I would recommend go to check him out. Again, his name is Tech Torpal. I will leave his link down below. Now, if you guys have a tech channel yourselves, uh, and you want to share that with us well that'd be great just let us know down below in the comments and we'll go and check out your channel but like i say guys it'd be great if you could go and show him some support hopefully get him to 300 subscribers he's on about 200 and something now so that would be awesome if you guys could go and show your love to him okay so really briefly i will say obviously there are better computers you can buy there are better desktop and laptop computers that will throw this thing out into oblivion compared to the performance now this computer is very old this computer is incredibly outdated but for the price i still think you're getting something that can still be fairly useful for you on a day-to-day -day basis if you're on a budget now if you have over a thousand dollars to spend by all means go out and buy a mac pro or even create your own custom pc but if you're on a budget let's see what we can get out of this computer we on a day-to-day -day basis use this computer and what that means is either video editing on final cut pro x or photo editing using photoshop and Lightroom um, and it also includes surfing the internet and doing general word processing. Now in all of these areas this computer holds up perfectly fine. I will say that if you are editing large files for example 4k that is when this computer is going to fall down because obviously the performance is not up there with the modern day technology. Now if your camera can only shoot 1080p 60fps you will be perfectly fine using this computer. I haven't had much chance to use Premiere Pro on this computer but I will say if you're using Final Cut Pro it runs really smoothly and I have had no problems there. In terms of exporting speeds and rendering speeds, this computer still holds up pretty well. Now, for example, we can get one of our videos edited, exported to a master file and uploaded to YouTube all in the space of an hour. Now, usually I would say about half an hour exporting time to the desktop for about a seven minute video, which in my opinion, isn't too bad. Where it does start to fall down is when you start to render your footage. If you have a lot of stuff in there, for example, color graded video, if you have lots of audio, lots of effects and lots of things like that and titles and animations, the rendering time is going to be really slow on this computer. Now, if rendering times and exporting times isn't a problem for you, we're gonna be talking now about the general ports and what you can get out of this computer. Now, you have four USB ports at the back. Obviously, this computer doesn't come with a trackpad or keyboard. So if you have wireless, you still have four available but don't forget if you do want to get a plug-in keyboard via USB you are going to use two of those ports just to plug in your keyboard and mouse which can be a bit of a problem which only leaves two available for other things now for us this has never been a problem because we use the Apple trackpad and Apple mouse and they work perfectly fine for me I have no issues with them at all they still work fine even though they've been replaced by the newer versions if you're looking for a cheap Bluetooth keyboard and mouse I would definitely recommend going for these two. Now, the thing I like about the mouse is obviously you can do all of the nice gestures. You can do the scrolling, two finger scrolling. Uh, you can do the back swipe and all of the different uh, hand gestures on those. And it just makes my performance on the computer a lot faster. Now, as for the other ports, the lifesaver on this Mac mini is the SD card slot. Now, this also supports an HDMI port. That's pretty obvious because you are going to need to get yourself a monitor. So you can see guys, if you do get the most expensive version of this Mac mini, you are gonna be spending over a thousand dollars because you're gonna need to get yourself a keyboard and mouse and also a monitor. Now you also have an ethernet port and also the power port in the back of this computer with a Thunderbolt port as well, but I never really use the ethernet or the Thunderbolt port, obviously you use the power port. Other than that, if we look around the computer, we have at the front an infrared receiver, and we also have an LED status little notification light just to let us know when the computer is turned on. Now the one problem that I will say with this computer is obviously because all the ports are located on the back, is you end up having to reach around the back to plug in 
uh, whether it be a USB stick or it has to be your SD card. You always end up having to lean over the back to put it in, which can be a bit annoying and can be a bit clunky when you're doing it. It would be nice if the pots were on the front, but again, that takes away from the aesthetics and the look of the product. So design being set aside, obviously you're gonna be buying this computer for how well it performs. Now, we'll put up some screenshots of a benchmark test that we've done on this computer, but this version of this computer is perfectly adequate for video and photo editing. So if you are in the same position as us guys, I would thoroughly recommend going with an old Mac Mini just because it's cheaper but you still get a fairly good performance out of it and obviously if you're going to be doing things like gaming which I would not recommend whatsoever on a Mac you're really not going to have much fun on this computer because it just won't be able to perform in that area but again that's not what it's designed for. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you do have any other suggestions for videos you want filmed or any other reviews, do leave them down below in the uh, comments and we will read all of your comments. Uh, and if there's one that's cool, we might even do your video. So that's it guys for this video. We'll hopefully have a video out later on this week or next week. So stick around for then. In the meantime, live long and prosper. <laughs>